<laughs> hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is June 26th, and this is my shop update. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Let's get into what's going on here in and around the shop. So first off, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for all of the support on the chair kit launch. I was uh, blown away by how positive and um, excited everybody was on this idea and concept. If you didn't see the announcement video, I will leave you a link to that that uh, goes through the whole, like what the chair kits are, how to buy them and what the pre-order thing is. Also, a huge extra big thank you to everyone who placed an order for a set of chairs uh, that is especially cool. Um, so big thank you to you guys as well. One thing I have decided to add to the, to the mix of things here is uh, a little bit of um, an extra bonus, I guess. So if you do place an order for a set of chair kits, out of everyone who orders during the pre-sale, I will randomly select someone that will receive a credit for four chairs. So if you only order four, potentially you get a free set of chairs or a refund. <laughs> a partial refund or whatever. So the uh, the pre-order uh, period runs through July 7th. After that, things will kind of go away for a bit until I get all the inventory in and start doing all the shipping. And then we'll see um, if we open things back up for regular ordering. At this point, things are looking positive. So thank you, everybody. Oh, and I almost forgot the whole reason I even have this chair over here. So one of the... Uh, the things I was most curious about with the launch was which style was going to actually perform and sell the best. So far, Style 3, the triple back slat, has a significant sales lead over every other style. And within that style, uh, Walnut is the most popular chair. So this right here is the uh, single most popular skew. <laughs> Let me know what you think the most popular chair is going to be at the end of the pre-sale. <laughs> So in the shop today, I have a bunch of material. I am starting my next uh, furniture build. This is going to be a mid-century-ish, mid-century modern inspired uh, dressing vanity slash and or desk, I guess, if you just don't build a mirror for it. So this is going to be a project over in the guild. If you uh, missed the little announcement previously, we just released this little step stool project over there. So if you want to get an idea of what the guild build entails in a detail level and all that, this project over there is free. It has a few different videos. And then uh, uh, this, uh, this project is going to be released a little bit differently than all the previous ones. Previously, it was a one video a week release type of thing. We are moving to a all at once release. So this will all be released as one series over there all at once. And uh, the video on YouTube will be here as well around the same time. So I'm about to jump into this thing. It should be a fun time. This walnut is the stuff that I cut. Well, I cut the stuff like 18 months ago already. It's crazy how fast it goes. But two years ago at this time, I was picking up these walnut logs out of a backyard. And I brought them back here. And those became the subject of the series I did on turning a log into lumber. So that was a three-part series. That I posted about a year ago that covers the basics of turning a log into boards, turning a log into slabs, and then uh, stacking the lumber, drying the lumber, and all of the sawmill cleanup. So if you haven't seen that series of three videos, I will leave a link to that as well. So this uh, vanity thing is going to be a whole bunch of uh, wrapped corners essentially. So we're going to have some pretty cool continuous green going on here. Basically all miter construction so you have, you know, a nice crisp corners around the entire case. So I don't have a rendering done just yet, so you'll have to kind of use your imagination, but maybe next time I'll have something to show. <laughs> Besides a pile of wood. It's always funny at this point to be like, here's a pile of wood. Hopefully it turns into what I have in my mind. So the last kind of bigger thing going on that uh, I got a lot of questions on is the uh, workbench kits and how that's all going to work. I am planning on getting that stuff together maybe for next week or so. I have a video on cutting all the workbench slabs and drying them and kind of going through the entire process of turning a big log into a workbench kit. And then the workbench kits will go for sale as well. The uh, kind of general gist of that structure is going to be um, they're going to be made in batches and I'll be taking reservations for uh, bench top either tops or bench top kits as part of that batch. So um, look for order information 
maybe uh, late next week or so when that video launches. It's another thing I'm uh, super excited about. I've been spending so much time getting the chair kits ready to go, and I had this workbench thing going on in the background too. So it just kind of happened that like all these things that I was planning on launching kind of ended up being done around the same time, which is kind of a weird timing thing. But anywho, that's coming as well. So if you're planning on building a workbench and you don't want to laminate stock for your bench tops and you want a single piece of quarter saw material for your bench top, that is coming as well. <laughs> so much stuff. I also did finish picking up the rest of that red oak tree and I have a video about that uh, entire recovery coming out in a couple of days. So look for that as well. So that's what uh, I have been up to. Let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week is a valet box by Michael. The box is made from workshop scraps, probably white cedar with jar of trim. Next is a record player stand by Sam. Sam made the stand from pallet wood. The top and the shelf are oak and the legs are cedar, probably. The legs came out of this bigger piece and is stained with a weathered walnut stain. Next are some spoons by Gary. They're carved from green wood and they're all carved using hand tools. Gary's made eight of these spoons so far for the eight weeks he's been stuck at home. He said it's a fun departure from the more linear power tool working that he's used to. And you can find more of Gary's work over on Instagram. Last of this week is some kitchen storage by Matt. Matt removed the trash compactor at the new house they moved into. That left him with this large opening to find something to do with. His wife liked the idea of some sliding basket shelves, so Matt made that dream come true. And I have another viewer project this week, a little bit of a different one. 99 Ways to Fire Your Boss by Bill Underwood, a viewer of the channel. He sent me this book he just published and uh, said, does this qualify as a viewer project? Uh, yeah, if you are a viewer and you happen to do a project, which just happens to take the form of a book, definitely a viewer project. So Bill has a bunch of like ideas on ways to generate additional revenue in your life and possibly transition those to a uh, full-time job. There's a little section here on, uh, on me, which is cool. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, I'll leave you a link to Bill's book down in the description. Thanks for sending me out the book, Bill, and thanks to... Uh, everyone for watching because this is the end of the shop update <laughs> so once again thank you as always for watching i greatly appreciate it. if you have any questions or comments on anything i talked about today or anything here in my shop please feel free to leave me a comment as well as i'd be happy to answer any questions you might have and until next time <laughs> happy woodworking <laughs>